Get it? We got it. Hello everybody, welcome to Not the Speakeasy. I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. We are Dirt Road Men. Dirt Road Men. We also have Def Seth. And Def Seth. You wanna say hello? Yeah, you gotta poke your head in and say hello. 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 <laughs> you get an H on that one though. Yep. Try your whiskey. It smells nice and light. It smells almost watery for uh, an Irish whiskey. I know it's hard to smell watery, but... Shove your whole nose in the glass. It smells like alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man. I feel... drunk. <laughs> that is definitely an Irish whiskey. It's really nice Irish whiskey. Ooh, really sweet. It's like a sweet honey... Like you mix honey and butter in it on, on the back end. I like it. Mm -hmm. so it's really is... light on the front end, though. It doesn't have that heavy Irish taste on the front, but on the back, it's got this really cool kind of uh, like explosion almost of flavor. Kind of a, a drier. Fi well, that's what they mean by dry finish. It kind of leaves your mouth. It's wet, but it feels dry. Mm -hmm. I like it for this. Mm -hmm. It fits, and it's extraordinarily cheap. It was twenty dollars for a liter. Yeah. So, Hellcat Maggie. Hellcat Maggie was a uh, member of the notorious, I've never heard of them, uh, Dead Rabbits Gang. Dead <laughs> I've never Rabbits heard of them. <laughs> Gang that roamed the Five Points area of Manhattan in the 1840s. She was a uh, fearsome street fighter who wore razor sharp talons on her fingers, brass talons at that. So, yeah. And she filed her teeth down into points, like razor sharp points, which I assume... Please keep that away from my fun parts. Yeah. Please? <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach anything, just don't bite me. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. That is like a really cool like backstory for that. I was like, hello, cat Maggie. I just thought of like an old ragged alley cat. No, it's... Some crazy lady from the 1840s. That's that's cool though, and I like how even though it doesn't really directly relate to the founding of the whiskey, right? From what you had found, yeah. They they picked somebody with a cool story that not a lot of people knew. Yeah. And then threw it up there, kind of like Peaky Blinders. Did. Yes. Yes. And uh, they threw it up there, and they put this behind it, and it, it it's really cool, and it drew me to their whiskey. Yeah. Um, so this is made by uh, Phillips Distilling Company, which was uh, established in 1912, Minina Minneapolis, Minnesota. You have too many M's and N's. Uh, but it says Princeton, Minnesota. It even has a zip code. They're probably really close to each other. <laughs> like, um, um, well, saying, like, like, saying like, we're from Kansas City, but you're really in, like, Lenexa. Yeah. You're still in Kansas City. I'm not in Lenexa. No. I live nowhere no. near Lenexa. No. Seth made smoky Irish whiskey, by the way. How is that? He hasn't tried it yet. That's Irish whiskey in that. Morelli, whatever. Um, but here, around where we live, Great Plains, um, Phillips Distilling Company is mostly known for, like, UV vodka. If you get the UV blue and mix it with uh, uh, Monster, you're going to have a good time. Yep, we're back to my Monster. I had a whole can somewhere. Did you leave it in the car? I bet I left it on the workbench. Ah, don't matter. Um, they also do uh, Prairie Vodka, and they've recently branched out with whiskeys. Um, namely, the, the one I see most often is uh, Rebel Stoke. They also have That's a, them too? Yeah. Okay. They also have a uh, Herbal... Liqueur, named uh, Black 100 for its 50% ABV, alcohol by volume, and uh, opaque black color. Uh, I wonder what they're doing to where they're not just a uh, herbal whiskey. If they have, if they're 100 proof, 50%, that's you filled half of that up with 100%, and the rest up with tea, 100% alcohol and the rest with tea. Hmm. There's still a liqueur, so... Yeah. This is it. This is a whiskey. It's Irish. Which... The thing I don't like about it 
mm -hmm. and I like it a lot, especially at this price point. Price point. Like, uh, a fifth of Bushmills is about this much around here, and I would rather have this than a fifth of Bushmills. I can see that. Not Nothing against a fifth of Bushmills, but the nose has nothing interesting for me. Nothing. No. It's almost non-existent. Which is probably good for non-whiskey drinkers. Yeah, yeah. Like, like if you Irish whiskey is good to bring people in on anyway. I, this one might really do it. I wonder what an Irish Coke would taste like. I don't know. That'd be... Like, if you wanted to get your wife into... I... Yeah. We should have had her try this one. She didn't believe us. I'd still give this a uh, 7. And and the only reason it doesn't get a 7 is there's nothing interesting on the nose for me, and I don't like that. More than a 7? Because you said the only re you gave it a 7, but the only Yeah, the only reason I didn't give it more. Because I like the taste, although there's not much up front either. So it's like the first half of this whiskey isn't there. But the last half is awesome. The back half. Uh, makes all the difference. There's a lot of flavor that comes in once it gets past the first part of your tongue. It has this like spicy, uh, not spicy, sorry, this like honeyed sweetness and this uh, buttery note that you get with a lot of Irish whiskeys. It's hard for me to pick out anything else though, so it's not really complex either. It's just a really smooth background whiskey. I think I'll give this an eight. It's one of the one of the better Irish whiskeys I've had. And I think the lowest one I've given an Irish whiskey, I think, was a seven, probably. So mm -hmm. it's only fair to give this one an eight. It's I'm trying to like it's it's even between... even if I contradict an earlier rating and say this is better than something, but I rate it lower. I'm trying to keep in mind that a five is a middle of the road whiskey mm -hmm. that like if somebody gives it to you, drink it, but don't buy it. Um. And anything like. 7 or above is something I would buy from time to time, and anything like 10 is, I'm going to get this every time I can. Like, I want to keep this in my cabinet. I want to keep this in my belly at all times. Yeah. In my glass, in my glass, in my hand, in my truck, you everywhere. polished off your glass there, buddy. I did. Got nothing to toast out on. It's a shame. There you go. Am I supposed to smell it? No, it doesn't have a smell. I evened you out. Okay. All right. Uh, so this one gets about a seven and a half from us. Till we see you again, I'm Zach. And I'm Jake. And we are the Dirt Road Men. If you like this video, uh, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, drop us a comment, and check out our uh, Facebook page for daily updates.